All right, so now we're on technique number five for the first wrist set. So we start off with number one right here and number two right here. As we're going up, number three is right here. Remember, number three can work down here and it also worked right here for number one. They're basically the same technique. Number four, we're coming up a little bit higher, but it can also work down a little bit lower, just around the elbow joint or above. Now we're going up higher into these and these can be you know, anywhere around this position. So the idea is when he's getting this grip, I want to still lower my base. Okay, and you can see right here, you can see where the judo comes in. It's starting to focus on throwing a lot more. So same thing here, I'm working this one. And when I'm working this, I'm making sure I'm lowering my base and turning, and I have to face him. So I'm keeping my eyes on him, but I'm getting this grip where the thumb is going into this pit of the hand. My fingers are wrapping around the backside of his hand and then towards the bottom of the pinky side right here where the junction of the hand and the wrist meet together. Now from here, I'm going to roll back in fast. So one, it's here, two, it's here. Now we add the other hand into it and the other hand rolls the elbow up and over. I'm gonna put the knife hand of my hand onto the back of his tricep tendon. So as we're doing this, lower base, one, two, three. And you can see how I roll this arm here, four, I'm keeping this here and I'll lock this elbow down, the one that was grabbing initially into my ribs. This hand is gonna roll over and then I keep that elbow down as well. And from this position, I take a step in and then a step back and we make sure we keep pressure. Now from here, you just slide your knee in just a little bit and then slide this other leg back and then I'm just like I'm scooping dirt with this hand, the one that's on the tricep tendon is gonna put a little bit more pressure. As I do that, just that way you can see this hand. As I was scooping dirt and putting pressure on this uh, elbow joint, I am putting pressure on his wrist. So if I am going to attack the elbow joint, the best way to attack it is attack the wrist and the elbow at the same time. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure right here as well. So this helps straighten it out and it's there. So, Right here, same position, so make sure we lower, but it's not lower than stop, it's lower and turn. So it's lower and turn. From here, you can see that roll and that twist, and see it's all one motion. Elbow tucks, elbow tucks, and see how I'm rolling that hand over, but it's a blade of the hand right here. And you can see thumb inside that pit of the hand, fingers are around the back of the hand, and then towards the junction right here, and I just roll it off of me, quick, okay? And so right here, you don't want to roll it off of you, but you don't want to take it too far off of you. So over here, you'll lose a lot of your leverage. We keep it close to us here. I roll in, I step forward, then back. Two, three, see how my knee comes in, the other one comes back, so I'm making sure that my position is right. I am scooping dirt. This grinds my ulna against that tricep tendon, and I'm putting pressure right here at the same time. It's one. So at speed, it should look like this. Good, so as I grip, one, two, and pressure. And that is technique number five for the first wrist set. Thank you very much.